Do you have a podcast I really like called Snafu? Thank you. And it's uh, it's very well done. It's really well written uh, and produced, and it's telling the stories of um, well, in this season that I've been listening to, this really scary thing that happened in 1983 that I didn't even know about. And this is going to be the series you can do. You'll be doing multiple seasons and multiple shows about various things that have gone horribly wrong that, right. we, prob that we probably don't know about. Is that a fair yeah. summation? So, so the, the log line of the podcast is, it, it's called Snafu, and it, the log line is, it's just about history's greatest screw-ups. Mm -hmm. And so, as you mentioned, season one is dedicated entirely, like each season will be dedicated entirely to one thing. Season one is, is a Cold War disaster called uh, Able Archer 83, and uh, I, like you, I didn't know about it either. I didn't. And it's kind of, and, and the more I went down the rabbit hole, I was just like, good God, this is so important. Like it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating and darkly, very darkly hilarious story about how we almost reached nuclear Armageddon in 1983 due to like poor judgment, miscommunication, and lots of mistakes. Yes. Um, but uh, it's pretty, it, I mean, it is chilling because, and, and the season starts out with you, you actually get to talk to, it's cool, you're talking to Matthew Broderick, but uh, a very influential big hit movie came out that year called War Games. That movie came out in the spring of 1983 <sighs> and Able Archer 83 happened in November of 1983. So it was like predicting the future. It really is a eerily similar chain of events this fictional hollywood movie and then reality plays out like eight months later and uh yeah just for a little more clarity basically um there uh there's this nato exercise that happened every year called able archer in in 1983 uh this military exercise for various reasons was perceived by the soviet union to be an actual staging by the West for a nuclear attack on the Soviet Union. So the Soviet Union responds by ramping up their nuclear posture. All of this is a misunderstanding on both parts. And uh, there's some fascinating, really wild espionage going on at the time that we get deep into in the, in the podcast. Um, and again, there are these very darkly funny misunderstandings but they're only funny because the stakes are so high that yeah. all, all you can do is laugh right it's well, like also we can laugh now because it's yeah. you know 2022 23 whenever this airs and uh we know that okay that didn't happen chuckle mm -hmm. but it's terrifying at the same time it and and what i also love about the story is that it's it's also a story of heroism because the the, his, the historians that exposed this story, it was secret for decades. And the CIA really tried to keep this under wraps. Um, but a few historians really dug deep and, you know, through Freedom of Information Act requests, uh, were able, like over years, like very tenacious work, were able to bring this story to light and, and expose it for what it is. And thank God, because it's unacceptable. Right. That's what that's what's so terrifying. It's like it, any any risk of nuclear war is unacceptable. The stakes are cataclysmic. And when you're seeing behavior that's somehow this clumsy, I think one historian uh, makes the analogy of two drunks circling each other in a bar, mm -hmm. you know, and and uh, it, it's it needs it needs sunlight. It needs yeah. to be exposed. It needs to be talked about. It needs to be analyzed. So that we don't um, repeat it. Yeah. And, yeah. and obviously, I, that's, I'm not saying that secrecy isn't important. It, of course, plays an important role in, in, uh, in government affairs and in, in, in international whatever, all, all the CIA stuff. There's a lot of secret stuff that should be secret. But then oftentimes secrecy gets used really just as a way to perpetuate impunity mm -hmm. and that's not okay. And that's where I think the, the historians really shine on this in this story, um, by bringing this whole thing to light. And it's, 
it was so fun to do. I say this all the time about uh, this podcast phenomenon. It's fun. It is really fun to get to do this. I mean, uh, this is a way for you to follow your passion, history, but it's also, uh, there's a real nice comedic element that's appropriate at times. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you you got, it's well balanced, it's really well produced, but you get to have these passion projects that, you know, you can make. And I think a lot of people are going to uh, really enjoy this. Um, it's called Snafu and it's available uh, everywhere you get your podcasts. I love saying that because I never know really what it means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wherever you get your podcasts, like, what do you mean, you know? Yeah. Not the podcast. Nord Where do you get your Nordstrom. podcast? Nordstrom. Yeah. I get my podcast. Oh, those are good Nordstrom. podcasts. Yeah. Um, not cheap. 